day two of the Bulletproof Biohacking Conference and hopefully I make it on time because this morning you could start things off with a heartfelt meditation. That heartfelt meditation was a perfect way to start the day. Uh, I didn't really get any footage of it because, well, once we were getting into the meditation where everyone was calming down, I had my eyes closed, and it would have been distracting if I set up the camera the way that I have it right now. I was explaining to somebody already last night that meditation is kind of like a bicep curl for the brain. And one of the reasons why it's incredibly important is because it's a practice that allows you to think in different ways and it actually changes the way that you react to all of the things that happen in your life. Now the reason why you do that is because when you're sitting down and you are just thinking or allowing your brain to just perform its processes, there are times when thoughts might come into your brain and thoughts might appear out of nowhere while you're sitting there and just focusing on your breath and being very still. But the point of meditation is to allow all of those thoughts to just pass by. You're not actively trying to push those thoughts away. You're not actively trying to even engage with those thoughts. You simply acknowledge that that thought exists because it does, and then you let it pass on its own. So imagine if you have a pretty bad moment occur where it really makes you upset. Well, because you practice every single day allowing thoughts to just pass in your brain, well, that bad thing that happens might affect you a little bit, but you'll find that it's a lot easier for you to allow that bad moment to just become, well, a fleeting moment. Actually, it's one of the reasons why my life's motto that you've probably heard me say a couple of times on this channel is the next moment is only a moment away. The thing is I could say that all that I want and I could try to will the actual uh, feelings behind that thought into being whenever I actually have a bad moment or whatever the case may be throughout my day, but I wouldn't really be able to practice what I preach unless I literally practice it. But I figured this would be a good time for me to explain to you why Bulletproof is so important to me. Bulletproof is just a brand. Bulletproof is a brand of a low carb lifestyle that also includes a lot of things called biohacking. And biohacking is, is essentially uh, practices or things that you can consume or things that you can do that unlock more potential in your mind, spirit, and body. Now that can come in the form of things like uh, bulletproof coffee, which is uh, very good quality coffee with grass-fed butter for really good nutrients, and MCT oil, which is a type of coconut oil that is used immediately for good energy. Uh, so this is an example of a type of biohack that you can do because it unlocks even more energy in your body when you drink it for breakfast or pretty much any time during the day before 2 p.m. of course. And then there are other things like meditation, which I've talked about already, uh, that uh, unlock other portions of your brain uh, in order for you to have a better way of reacting to things that happen every day. But there's another reason why biohacking is really important to me, and it's because, well, if you know me by now, I am a type 2 diabetic. And if you ask me, uh, even though this wasn't the case when I first got uh, diagnosed with diabetes, uh, what I th view as this uh, affliction that a lot of people have in this country is actually an invitation to biohack. Why? Because in order to be a complete person with diabetes, you literally have to hack your body. So essentially what that means is my body is incapable of using the insulin that it can produce because I'm a type 2 diabetic. I do have insulin in my body. I'm just not good at using it. So I need to find ways or to cater my life in such a way that allows me to have low blood sugar and to be healthy despite this deficiency that it has. And I try to achieve that through uh, taking supplements and eating a particular diet, having things like Bulletproof coffee, and that is literally hacking my body and I hope that with tech and tea, I will be able to impart some of that wisdom to all of you. Uh, what I'm doing here is basically a lifelong journey to good health, whether it be through connected health or through biohacking or anything like that. And I'm just hoping that you'll come along this journey with me and maybe, just maybe, you might learn a thing or two for yourself. Who do I talk to about trying this out? I haven't tried yet. Are you welcome to try that? I'll just jump on? Yeah. Okay. As in, hop on. Okay, sounds good to me. You can try it with the, your flat shoes, so it should work. And okay, cool. If not, just try it yourself. All right, let's do it. Whoa. 
I have no idea what's happening to the audio, but you can probably hear it in my voice. Oh yeah, because the center of gravity. Oh. And of course, because, because it's vibrating while I'm doing this little squat that I'm doing right now, it's, it's providing a little bit of resistance, so I'm getting a bit of a workout right now. By vibrating the, the, your feet and making that vibration go throughout your entire body, depending on where your toes or maybe you're on your back of your feet, which causes more of your entire body to vibrate, and you can probably hear it right now, it actually shakes all of the cells in your body so that the mitochondria inside of your cells gets a bit of an electrical charge and provides even more energy to your body. Now the founder of Bulletproof apparently uses this every morning and I will admit, this is one way of waking up in the morning that might be really effective. And the vibration is not so much that you would end up like spilling stuff or it's really, you don't feel precarious trying to get off of it. It's not like it's shaking so much that you lose your balance. It's just enough to just kind of give you a good vibration, which is why it's called the Good Vibe Garden. Are we good? Can you hear me now? I feel like I, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, more? All right, I'm at full volume. This is an ABHU. Right? How many people you watch a movie and you feel like you're the main character? Right? You actually can feel, or you're watching sports, you can feel what they're feeling, right? And so we want to employ that while we're doing this exercise. And so what you're going to do is when you lose, you win because you become part of their team and you cheer them on with all the energy and excitement that you can. One, two, three, go. One thing I really wanted to do today was uh, check out a lot of the tech. And as you saw earlier, I got on the Vibe vibration, uh, full body vibration machine or plate, whatever you want to call it. And that was really awesome. But there's a lot of stuff in the tech hall that I want to check out as well. I'm not looking to touch this, but you, you could. Oh, you um, could. I will touch it for you. Okay. It is a little hot. It's a little hot. Um, and well, yeah, you don't it, want to get your hand hot. on it. Definitely it's been not. on all day. Okay. So, um, but the um, cages have been picked out. It's a proper gauge so that it. Uh, the temperature decreases very quickly after the lights go out. Oh, good. Okay. So it doesn't stay hot for long. And quick, quick explanation for everybody out there. If you've never been in a sauna, the reason why people love saunas is, well, after exercising, you're already pumping blood. So being in a sauna allows you to actually, I don't want to use the word secrete, you're releasing toxins <laughs> in the sauna. This is just a better way of doing so if you're very uncomfortable like we are in traditional saunas. I'm not sweating yet. If the door was closed, I'm sure I would be. Yeah, it'll get up to 120 if we close the door pretty quickly. I don't think I need that right now. But Probably not. <laughs> thank you for the demo though, this is nice. Even though I might not be able to get a product like this for myself, I'm definitely gonna try infrared saunas more often. If, awesome. I, can, if I can find a place to be able to do it. Right? Yeah. Once again, I have a battery problem because my mic went out, but that is the last session of day two of the Bulletproof Conference. Tomorrow is the last day, but it is a half day, so I'm going to see if I can get a lot of time in the tech hall all day tomorrow. Maybe I'll go to one or two talks, but it ends at 2 o'clock, so I need to make sure I make the most of it. Um, I'll talk about some takeaways. I don't know 
know what percentage this is. This is supposed to be like the deep Australian full body red. I'll probably try another one a little bit later, but for now, yeah, let's pop it.